And welcome back. Well, a recent survey suggests that one out of every three people wants a new job. And the reason? They're bored. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Well, what if circumstances suddenly find you unemployed, or what if you really aren't in the right job? Well, the transition is something that can be difficult. That's right. Steph Crosley is an educator, motivational speaker, and author of two books, Naked with Confidence, and this one titled With Love. Steph also counsels people on relationships, and she is here with advice on how to land that job. Love okay. having you here. Thank yeah, you. thanks for being here. Having me. That's a whole lot of things that you do. <laughs> it is. It is. It is finding my passion. Yeah, but a lot of it is inspiring people to help them find their passion. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. How, how do you figure out what you're passionate about? About. You know, I think that we all know what our passion is. We just tend to ignore it, mm. and we do that for a variety of reasons. One, we're afraid um, because we don't know. We're, we're so used to the norm, so we, we're, yeah. we're afraid to step outside of that box. Um, and we, we, we're not sure, or we lack the confidence, we're not sure how successful we'll be if we'll go into that passion. That fear of failure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's always there. It's, it's, it happens to some of the best of us. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So and when someone says, okay, I know what my purpose or my passion or things that I like to do are, but how do they, consider, how do they start to do a transition mm -hmm. and find that confidence to be able to trust what they love? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... I heavily suggest self-reflection um, and do it often whether that's meditation whether that you know just taking time alone and then once you f figure out what you truly love doing or what those things that make you happy start to do more of it over time to where you are comfortable um, and you are ready to make that transition or to own what that passion it is um, yeah, I, I just think it, it just take it step by step. Mm -hmm. You can't, I'm, it's hard to just jump out and just do things. Um, sometimes some people have the guts to do it. Yeah. Some yeah. people don't. So uh, just taking it step by step, I think will. One of the things you suggest is relearning yourself. So you just mentioned self-reflection mm -hmm. and, and kind of taking some time to really think. Yes. Um, how do you relearn yourself? Um, taking time for yourself, I think um, in today's society, especially with women, women are so much more dynamic than we were before. Um, and because of that, we carry so much weight on us. Like we are career, we, we're running, we're in careers, we're running our own businesses, we're parents, we're doing so much that we tend to become everything else and we forget about ourselves in the process because as women, we mm -hmm. make the world work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, we, we tend to forget about ourselves. So um, you have to take those moments. You have to incorporate that self-reflection so that you, you know, you don't forget about who you are and what makes you happy because those are the things essentially is, is what going to keep you going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you do the self-reflection, you find these things, you mm -hmm. journal it, you, you realize it. What are our next steps for people in transitioning their career? Yeah, so with, in transitioning um, from career, it's important to know why. What's, what's prompting you to transition from career? Um, and those reasons can be anywhere from um, a change in needs versus needs and wants, a change in, you know, you're just unhappy, uh, maybe you're burned out. And it's important to note what those reasons are because that type of energy that we're taking from the workplace, we tend to carry it with us throughout our lives. So it's impacting our relationship we have with our, you know, our children, our peers, um, our working relationships. Um, and we need to know what's driving that for. So one, take a moment and self-reflect. I'm really big on self-reflect, so I'll always go back to that. So self-reflect on that. And then two, um, start to realize what you do well um, and what you don't do well, things you need to work on. A lot of times we point fingers and we say, oh, it's the career, it's the career, it's, it's the career, but we're not taking ownership in how we contribute to the career or where we're at within that career. Mm -hmm. So that's important to note. Um, and then third, you want to um, assess the situation and analyze the situation. What are some, the, the strengths and the weaknesses in your current trends, uh, your current career, and how can you use those to uh, move you in the next career? Mm -hmm. um, and then you want to have a plan. You want to have a plan. And I tell people that all the time. Um, again, it goes back to, you know, some people will jump without preparation and some people will prepare for the jump. Um, yeah. Make sure you're prepared. Make sure you have a um, an exit plan so that you don't land back in the same position. Do you think that most people require additional education if they're going to make a career change that they have to go back to school or have to get mm -hmm. some sort of? Yeah, no, I not necessarily. Um, that's always a plus. Um, but there are some people, you know, um, where school isn't 
necessarily the right, the best move, but you can find that knowledge and those um, experiences and just putting yourself in positions to learn more. Mm -hmm. That's networking. So getting involved with people who are in the current field that you wish to, um, you know, signing up for development um, training, um, just putting yourself out there to learn more. So not, not necessarily school, but you can get education in different uh, places. So. Mm -hmm really encourage networking. Yeah. yeah. I love what you said. I just had a friend recently who she was like, you know, every job I've had, I've been unhappy. Mm -hmm. And why is that? And she finally said, you know, maybe it wasn't the job. Maybe it wasn't the people there. Maybe it was me. Mm -hmm. And so she did a lot of that same thing, that self-reflection and, and realized for her, it was because she wanted to have more control over what she was doing and mm -hmm. she wanted to start her own business. Yep. And I think so much now, you know, we, we really do find what we love and, and want to do it and break out and make it our own thing. Mm -hmm. So I love what you said. Sometimes it is starting your own business. Yes. Maybe it's just switching to a different type mm -hmm. of career, nonprofit work or, you know, something else. So just finding meaning in your work. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Love that. Yes. You can learn more about what Steph's doing. Thanks so much for being here okay. at StephCrosley.com. That's where you can get connected with her real talk and learn more. Thanks, Steph. Love Thank it. you. Thank you so much. Great to meet you.